नमस्ते स्टूडेंट टुडे वील गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर नेम ट्राइंगल्स सो फर्स्ट वील हैव टू नो व्हाट डू मीन बाय ट्राइंगल ट्राइंगल मींस अ थ्री साइडेड पॉलीगन इज कॉल्ड ट्राइंगल दैट मींस अ थ्री साइडेड पॉलीगन पॉलीगन मींस अ क्लोज रेक्टिलिनियर फिगर ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज क्लोज्ड एंड रेक्टिलिनियर मींस लाइन सेगमेंट एंड यू कैन सी दैट देयर आर थ्री साइड so this type of figure have a special name called triangle now in this triangle you can see that six part three angle three side total six part so here notation you can see a b b c c a these are the side name you can say instead of saying a b you can say b a also b c can be written as cb also and ac can be written as ca also similarly angle a can be read as angle bac or cab similarly angle b can be read as cba or abc and angle c can be read as b C A or A C B. So there are six type of triangle. On the basis of side, there are three triangle, and on the basis of angle, there are three triangles. So on the basis of side, you can see here equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, scalene triangle. Equilateral triangle means all side should be equal isosceles triangle means any two side should be equal and scalene triangle that means all are different in length now on the basis of angle triangles are three types acute angle triangle that means in acute angle triangle each angle should be less than 90 degree right angle triangle means in which any one angle remember any one angle should be 90 degree two angle cannot be 90 degree because there are angles and property which give you 180 degree that means sum of angles is 180 degree of a triangle okay that means if we'll take two angle 90 and 90 it will give you 180 degree then what about your third angle so two angle can't be 90 okay similarly obtuse angle triangle only one angle should be greater than 90 degree then that type of triangle is called obtuse angle triangle so this was your introduction now we'll go for congruence what do you mean by congruence so here we have congruence part so let's see what do you mean by congruence two geometric figures are said to be congruent if they are exactly same shape and size remember they are called congruent triangle now two line segment are said to be congruent if they have equal length that means congruent segment similarly congruent angle if they have equal measure like 30 degree 30 degree okay this two triangle angle are congruent two circle are congruent if they have equal ready if this oa is 5 cm and you take another circle which also give you 5 cm radius then you can say that these two triangle are congruent similarly for congruent square equal side they must have equal side like if you have one side is 6 cm for other square you have 6 cm then this two square must be congruent here we have congruent symbol okay so you can see here one example congruent means here if i'll take this two rectangle you can see this one this two this two are rectangle 
that means they are congruent congruent means if I take one on another you can see that they are coincide have you seen coincide you cannot see the other part that means this is rectangle and from the back side also we see you cannot see this is coincide that means what they are congruent if I'll take this one one triangle is this one and another triangle if I'll take here look, look at here they are not coincide to each other that means these two triangle are not congruent with any order you can see you take it you can't do anything okay you cannot so this type of triangle are not congruent okay next here you can see this two triangle you take this way also anyway okay take but if we'll take them on one another you can see that they are coincide have you seen they are coinciding look at here so this type of triangle are called congruent triangle so our chapter is totally based on congruent triangles okay so here we have the definition for congruent triangle two triangles are said to be congruent if their corresponding angle and corresponding sides are equal so let's try to understand the meaning of corresponding here here order is very much important so here if you'll see if we'll take this one ABC congruent to DEF this is your symbol then we'll write this way ABC is congruent to DEF now corresponding means if you'll see here what you can see angle A must be equals to angle D here the order is very much important so A is corresponding to angle D so here first one second one angle B must be equal to angle E so here we have angle B equals to angle E and the third one angle C must be equal to angle F here we have third one so here we have corresponding angles are equal now corresponding side that means if you'll take AB then you have to take DE look at here we have taken DE similarly if we'll take BC then you have to take EF here we have and the third one if we'll take CA then you have to take FD and if we'll take AC then you must take DF the order is very much important so this is the meaning of congruent so here to prove any two triangle are congruent you don't have to show all six parts okay so here we have criteria for congruent triangles we have four criteria we're going to discuss each one of them okay one by one let's see here we have first one that is side angle side congruent criterion let's see what they are saying two triangle are congruent two triangle are congruent if two side look at here AB AC DE DF and included angle included angle means two side and look at there they have common vertex and this is common angle have you seen this must be there similarly here you are taking two side angle should be included then only we can apply s a s criteria if we'll say that sir if i'll take angle a here and angle angle e would be this no look at here one one match two two match this should be this angle should be between these two side so it is not included if we we'll take e then it is not congruent 
So here you can see AB equals to DE, AB equals to DE, AC equals to DF, angle A equals to angle D. So we can say that ABC congruent to angle DEF. Look, look at the order. Order if will match AB equals to DE, AB equals to DE. Now AC equals to DF, AC equals to DF and angle A equals to angle D. You don't have to show all the property. Okay. So here we have SAS criteria. Okay. Next we'll see. So here we have side and sorry side 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 that is called SSS criteria. That means two triangles are congruent if three sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding three side of the other triangle. Look at here we have taken here triangle ABC where you can see that 4 cm, 5 cm, 6 cm. Similarly here 4 cm, 5 cm, 6 cm. Can you guess in which order we are going to write here? Because you can see that 4 cm is here and the 4 cm is here. This one we have. Can you guess? Take your time and think on that. ABC is congruent to which triangle? The order is very much important. You cannot say that it's a DEF. No, you cannot say. So if we we'll take triangle DEF, let's take DEF. If we we'll take DEF, look at here. AB should be equals to DE. Is it? AB is 4 cm and DE is 6 cm. How could you say that 4 cm equals to 6 cm? Wrong. You cannot say. That means we cannot take this order. Okay. Think another one. Yes. You are right. Look at here. 4. 4. It will go in this way. 4. See here. You are getting A, B, C. 4, 5, 6. That means 4, 5, 6. In which way you will go? 4, 6, 5. Or 4, 5, 6. See the order. 4, 5, 6. You are getting that means which one come first triangle D F E this is the order okay okay let's see other two criteria here we have angle angle not angle 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 side angle or you can say that angle angle side also okay they are similar not exactly equal but they are similar okay so here two triangle are congruent if two angle and the included side of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two angles and the included side of the other triangle that means if we'll take two triangle look at the two angle is there if we'll take two angle then side must be included have you seen this is your angle and this is your base. You take this one as a base and it is common. Similarly here, two angle and your this one is common. Now, if you see here clearly, can you guess ABC is congruent to which triangle? Order is also important. So look at here. If you think again, sorry if I will take here. A, B, C as D, E, F. Is it? Let's see. Or D, F, E. Which one is correct? Look. Angle A match with angle D. Okay. Angle A match with angle D. So we'll write here D. Next one. Angle B is 70 degree. And look at here. Angle F is 70 degree. That means F will come first. After that, which you mean left? Keep here. By which criteria? By angle side angle. Look at here. Angle side angle. Have you seen? Angle side angle. Similarly, here you can see angle side angle. Two angle included side. Previously, what we have seen? 
टू साइड इंक्लूडेड एंगल ओके दिस इज अनदर वे टू प्रेजेंट दिस इज डिफरेंट वन ओके सो नाउ द लास्ट वन वील गोइंग टू सी दैट इज राइट एंगल हैपेटन इज साइड सो यर टू सी दिस वन फर्स्ट यू नीड टू चेक दैट टू ट्राइंगल आर राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल और नॉट दैट मीन्स नाइंटी डिग्री शुड बी दियर then only you have to think about the hypotenuse so here you can see these two triangle are right angle triangle now we'll go for your hypotenuse and look at the hypotenuse yes 5 cm 5 cm they are equal now look at that here this one is your base this is your perpendicular and look at here base and the perpendicular so it doesn't matter which are equal you need to see that after hypotenuse if they are equal you need to see that is there any part of this triangle which is equals to this one any part means any side so here ab equals to you can see that ef equals to 3 cm so that means these two triangle are congruent now you need to make the order order is very much important once again i am telling you so here abc now could you guess think think See how will it go, sir? Five, three, nothing. Five, three, nothing. Simple. If it goes, sir, five, three, nothing, five. So three, nothing, five. Anyway, you can start. So here we are starting with this one. See, A means three. A B you are doing three, nothing, five. Start with this one, three. Nothing, five. This means triangle F A D. Okay, you can guess C. Make the order. Order here. A C equals to F D. C here. A C equals to F D. Okay. And this one. A B equals to F E, A B equals to F E, and angle B equals to angle E, ninety degree. Angle B equals to angle E, ninety degree. Corresponding part should be equal. Remember here. So here, by R H S congruency rule, we can say that these two triangle are congruent. Okay. Thank you.